Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. Um, I just woke up, about to get ready right now. Today we have a um, baby shower after church and had a baby shower yesterday. So this weekend has just been a weekend for baby showers. But time to get up and get ready for church. Now, I've never been good at wrapping gifts, but I'll be honest, this is probably the best I have ever wrapped a present in my life. It's like perfectly folded here at all angles and at all sides, and I am just so proud of it. So I'm in charge of doing games for the baby shower today, so each diaper has a different smell. Mm. What does that one smell like? Oh, number eight is, uh, I can't name, but we put on our fur. Yep, beef paste. <laughs> like I said, I realized that this is probably not the best game to play because it's winter and everybody's sick right now, so nobody can but smell. You know but you what? <laughs> um, so pretty, I think it's pretty good and funny game, so. <laughs> Which one? Oh, number five? Yeah, it's great, so. He says, watch out for number five because number five is probably the strongest smelling one. It's fish even sauce. My, even my, uh... <laughs> okay, so right now, Sunday, as you all know, are usually meal prepping, cleaning days and everything for me. Um, today, I haven't done much cleaning at all. I have the chicken thawing because I'm going to do our meal prepping for our chicken and sweet potato and green beans. I am watching football right now. The um, Houston Texans and the Kansas City Chiefs are playing and then after that the Seahawks and the Packers are playing and I'm not going to miss that game. So any meal prepping and stuff that I have to do is going to be after that game because I need to go and support my team. <laughs> Um, I've created some new printables on my website, so if you're interested in um, using some printables to help you stay organized, I'll show you what some of those are actually. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually just planning out for my month. Um, well, actually this is what I had uh, already done earlier this month, but this calendar here, it just has all of our bills here as well as some events or gatherings or parties that we have going on for this month of January. And um, this monthly planner is actually one of the templates in the Organized Wife Binder bundle that I have on my website. So I'll link my blog down below so that you can go and check out on the website to see if these templates would be helpful for you. But I just created this to-do list to go along with kind of things that I have going on for this month to help me stay more organized for this week. This is a list that you can download for free on my website. And again, the link is down below. Um, there are a bunch of other templates that I have right now. So I have a bunch on like marriage and then some on budgeting and then a ton on organization and then a few of these um, wall posters that have some of my favorite bible verses on them so if you'd like access to that just click on the link below and you can get signed up to receive uh, these free printables all right guys today is wednesday um <clears throat> about to do something kind of nervous right now my husband is going to cut my hair so you can see it's it's gotten kind of long and it's getting into a lot of knots now and if you look closely at it there's actually like it's basically like dead from like here down so i need to get a cut never had anybody really cut my hair besides my aunt and she lives in milwaukee and i don't plan on going to milwaukee anytime soon so i need a haircut and i don't want to pay for one <laughs> So my husband's gonna cut it for me and I'm kind of nervous because my hair grows really slow so that's why I'm just kind of wanting it to be cut kind of perfectly but at this point he's just gonna cut like a straight line um, at the bottom of my hair so that it's shorter because it's getting too long for me so <laughs> I'm kind of nervous but he trusts me to cut his hair so I'm gonna trust him to cut straight across today oh. if you just pull all my hair back it's not going to be even 
so yeah. you have to kind of cut it pull it from cut it from where it is so like this you're gonna have to cut separately and then that you're gonna have to cut separately okay okay all right this much yeah let's do that much first okay are you nervous nope i'm so <laughs> nervous you're the only one that's nervous oh. <laughs> like don't cut it like that i'm just kidding i just want to re-length it okay <laughs> oh my hair. This is my hair. This is all my hair. This is it. I don't have a lot of hair. Have you ever cut anybody else's hair besides your own? What? I'm not afraid to cut long hair. Well, like I said, my hair doesn't grow as fast as yours. All that yellow and orange at the bottom of my hair, it took three years to finally get to that long. Actually, uh, it looks good. <laughs> um. First time cutting someone else's hair? Nope. Okay, I think it's fine. I'll just leave it like this and then it'll grow out a little bit. Thank you. Welcome, I hope you like it. <laughs> first time, so. Hey, first time you messed mine up too, so. I don't remember the first time, honestly. It's been so many years that I've been cutting your hair, so. I've gotten better. Hey, there's a few times when you messed up, though. I did. But I was like, whatever, it's gonna grow out. Well, because your hair grows back really fast. I know, but then. I'm saying that you still messed up. <laughs> okay, so I just got done showering and then I blow dried my hair out and it's not as bad as it as i thought it was um so it's just getting used to having short hair again i've had my hair this short since i moved to minnesota so my hair takes very very long to grow um if you remember or i'll just insert it right here but then the brownish orangey color on my hair that you see that was actually from 2017 so i still have three-year-old hair like growing or I, I still had three three-year-old hair um, so it was definitely time to cut it and to go shorter again and hopefully this is just gonna be a lot more manageable for me my hair is already really thin um, it looks a little bit more full right now because I just showered and I blow-dried it so it looks a little bit thicker but yeah get used to having shorter hair again my husband didn't do too bad of a job it looks, I mean, you can tell that in some areas it needs to be kind of trimmed, but overall, not bad. What do you guys think? <laughs> Have you guys ever had your spouse cut your hair? Let me know below so I don't feel so bad. I mean, this was his first time, and this will probably be his first time in like, like three years doing it because my hair grows so slow. So, here it is. Happy Saturday everybody. Last night we had a little bit of a snowstorm and so right now they're outside plowing all of our roads right now. Um, but Sue and I, we are going to go run some errands today. We're going to go do our grocery shopping at Costco uh, because we don't want to do it after church tomorrow. There's a few football games that we want to watch. Uh, but then we also have some things to get uh, for the week and just a few miscellaneous things that we're running to the store. So come along with us. All right, we are at Costco and we got all of the ingredients that we needed to get for lunch and dinner this week. Um, I have my shopping list here of all the things we needed to get. I have my cash envelope here of money that we have allocated for our groceries. 
So in our cash envelope here, we have $103 allocated to groceries for this week. And so that's why I have my grocery list of everything that we need to get here at Costco. And I'm proud to say that so far we are all under budget. Um, this cash envelope is really helpful for us uh, to be able to allocate uh, the money that we need to go to groceries to go to groceries and then the money for everything else to be split between all of our other bills and expenses. Um, in this cash envelope, I actually created this cash envelope and it's on my website on my free uh, printables library. So click the link uh, down below to be able to sign up to get uh, access to my printables library where I have one of these cash envelopes available for you to download for free. 90-80. We are right under budget. We've got ten dollars left over in our grocery cash envelope for the week. Then. Mm -hmm. Nice. in my pocket. What? Twenty cents. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. You guys have a nice day. Thank you. You too. All right, we are back at home. Successful day of grocery shopping and running some errands. I wanted to show you how much money we have left over in our groceries cash envelope for the rest of the week. Well, actually for almost about two weeks. So we started off with $103 in our groceries envelope and then we spent most of that at Costco today and we have left over $12.20. So we got mostly everything that we needed to at Costco so we should be good with dinner and with lunch for the next few weeks but in case we need to grab like one or two things from the grocery store I'll be dipping into this uh, cash in order to do that. The great thing I love about these cash envelopes that I made also is that not only is it, you know, a fairly cute design and everything, pretty straightforward, um, you can list out whatever it is you're designating this cash envelope to up here, and then it has the amounts listed here. Now that we don't have $103 anymore, we actually have $12 and 20 cents left over in this cash envelope and I can continue to use this and refill it as necessary until I use up all of the money slots here and then just print out another one and reuse the cash envelope. But yeah, cash envelopes have been really helpful so far these past few weeks for my husband and I to really stay on top of our budget. Um, again, this cash envelope that I created, um, if you would like a copy of this one and if you find uh, or if you want to try using cash envelopes to see if it's helpful for you in managing your budget, um, I have this available for free on my website. Um, you can go and get it at my printables library on my website. You just have to enter in your name and your email and then the password will be sent to you and then you can download the template and cut it out and tape it and use it for whatever um, cash needs that you have. That is it guys. I'm going to conclude this week's video here. Oh, I wanted to also give you guys an update on my hair. So as you all saw the other day, my husband cut my hair and it's this length now. Um, the ends and everything, you know, it still looks kind of choppy, but it's not too bad for his first time cutting my hair. And also we were just using like household scissors so it wasn't like special hair cutting scissors or tools or anything like that but my hair grows really slow so I'm just gonna let it grow out a little bit longer hopefully it'll start to even out and not look so choppy down here if it really starts to bother me and if I'm able to save up for it I might just go get it trimmed at the bottom just to even it out but right now it's not like a super big priority for me I just needed it cut because it was getting too long so yeah that's my hair update but thank you guys for watching the video for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!